This is UNA on Music Choice. This is the singing competition where our grand prize winner will receive $25,000 in cash. We're at Lincoln Center for the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Welcome ASAP Berg to the show. Yeah. What's up, what's up? This is a UNA, the show where you guys at home get to ask your favorite artist anything you want. I'm Claire Galtierio. I'm your host, Claire Galtierio. I'm Claire Galtierio, and I am so excited for today's show. Are you guys ready to party? You're Miss Fashion. Now, Mr. Music, what are you looking for, you know, on a fashion show where the music actually has a lot to do with it? Well, I'm just gonna have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Should we all yeah. take notice to her doing her homework, please? Yeah. Seriously. I make you mine. Let's talk a little bit about your, uh, your grandfather, if you don't mind. For those of you who don't know, he is Barry Gordy, the creator of Motown. Hello, I mean, responsible for Michael Jackson. Yeah, I, Marvin Gaye, Gaye, Stevie Wonder, I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on. So sweet. Yeah, but did so, anybody so call no, you no. out? Were your fans like, you're in Boston? No. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of you being a boulder, right? Yeah. Is it weird whenever you guys perform there? Because you, you run into like your friends or like old teachers, being that you guys went to the University of Colorado? Uh, it's actually a lot of fun, yeah. Putting on the shades, that means it's getting real serious in here. Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you I'm going to give you a compliment sandwich. Thank you, Cindy. And now I'm kind of in the mood for a sandwich. Copy, what did you think of Danny's performance? Danny, you made me want to call my girlfriend and get a hotel room. All right, Cubby's making hotel reservations. I'm going to go grab a sandwich. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Empire City's Lucky Break. How did you go from being a fashion guru, if you will, you're making belts, something really cool, still creating your own shirts and stuff, to rapping? How did you make that transition? Well, I always like would write like little rhymes to myself. While we went and played a show a week later. Which is crazy, yeah. by the way, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if someone said to you, hey, I'm going to make a band, and by the way, we're going to play a week later after after performing, what would you tell them? Would you say, you know, throw them in, sink or swim? Or what would, like, well, what would your advice be? Well, that was sort of yeah. the, the theory, <laughs> sink or swim. So whenever I do my... I'm just trying to it out. Excuse my language. You're gonna try to like the bejesus out of me? I got to. You're a star. You got it. You're a music <laughs> choice. You got it. I feel like I might have to go to church after that performance. Woo! Would you say I'm like kind of a trap lord? A lordess? You're a goddess. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, that was good. Hello. Hey, we'll put you on speakerphone. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Hey, Claire. Hey, guys, um, what's going on? Hey, so we're oh, wait, on um, oh, wait, wait. UNA. Oh, and... my God, that's the best show ever. Oh, Seriously, yeah. best show ever. We're, we're having so much fun. Do you ever oh, wake up when you're done doing your hair just going, I'm so scary, Spice, right now? That's what I always <laughs> think. Like, I'm so scary. Like,